Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. Today we're in the F16C and we're looking at laser spot search, laser spot track using the Lightning 2 teapot. And we've already got this information in our main teapot video. However, that is a 30 minute video and I understand you just want a very quick short tutorial. Laser spot search uses teapot to search for a targeting laser. Laser spot track allows us to track a target through, again, a third party laser. That third party laser can come from a JTAC it could come from a different aircraft. In this case, it's going to come from RC in another F-16. So the first thing we need to show is that we can change the laser code. We go to our DED, we go list, we go zero, we go five. We can change the TGP code, the targeting laser code on our target laser there. And we step down there. We can change the laser spot track and laser spot search code. So we have to ensure that our laser spot search code is the same as RC's and what are you going to be lazing on RC? Uh, 1688. Roger and just to show that we could change one of these if I wanted to change our TGP we just highlight it 1588 enter and that would change it. Okay now we need to get prepared get everything set up. Gonna head master arm on, laser on and check that our power to our teapot is on and it is in this case first rc is going to go and find those targets for whatever reason i've got no way of finding these targets i just can't find them out here rc is going to find them and he's going to laser them on 1688 and we're going to lss and lst that laser now for that to work we need to know roughly the vicinity of those targets we need to know where roughly to search for that target laser and in this case they are at or within half a mile of steer point one so the first thing we're going to do is set our teapot up at waypoint one steer point one sorry so we're going to go to tgp standby air to ground and we can check here the code of our air laser spot search which is one six eight eight and we're going to this is currently caged to our ball site so what we're going to do is put it at steer point one and fix it to the terrain so we're going to follow that marker and that marker to find where the steer point is. We may happen to be a little bit close to it, so stand by. By coincidence, it just happens to be right below us. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually move, make sure it's soy with DMS down, and it is now soy. Find roughly where those targets, uh, find sorry, where that steer point is. And it's there. Put our target, put our ball sight roughly near there. And we're going to go down the button to do that is rdr cursor switch up down left to right and we've locked it on the terrain now out of interest we will be using uncaged switch there tms up there tms down there dms down to select the tgp as our soy so we've now terrain locked our tgp roughly in the vicinity of the aircraft by a couple of miles i'm going to put myself up now in a high right orbit to accept the laser standby and because we're going to be bombing on this thing or we would be if this is a real exercise we're going to go to Air to ground here. We're going to set ourselves up as CCRP, which we would drop our laser guided bombs with. Back to the TGP. And it's locked somewhere roughly near the target. So now I'm going to get myself in the right orbit at about 10,000 feet. Stand by. Okay, reaching 10,000 feet, and you can go higher if you want. Note that I've maneuvered, so our situation of view is just on my right there to give us maximum clear line of sight. Uh, notice that our screen here has, not, has become unsoy. It's no longer soy, so I'm going to DMS off to make it soy again. I'm ready for you to laser RC. Lazy. Okay, I'm now going to press cage on cage and we can see our situation and wellness queue is now scanning at 90 degrees right, 90 degrees left, based around that area that I told it to search. So let's just stand by until it picks something up. It will become apparent when it's picked something up. Okay, it's picked something up, RC. So that there, so what I can do now, let me just turn on my um, my IR. I know it's not e that easy to see, but it's locked on one of the targets. So, RC, can you confirm that one of the targets is kind of sticking out a bit from the that's others? The and that's the one you've got locked. Lovely. So, yep. that's a work. Now, at the moment, I want to actually um, now move this, take control of this. So, you can now stop lazing, RC. Okay. I'm going to go and choose another target, and I'm not going to tell you which one it is, just to prove that it will work. So, okay. I'm going to choose that one there. I'm going to TMS up to put it in a point track and get it working, zoom in, okay, I've got a point track on that, I'm just losing, let me just sort my altitude out for a second, so it's going to be the other way around now, this time I'm going to laze this different tank, RC is going to try and spot that and tell me which tank I'm lazing, so RC, 
I am now lazing and I lazed, I press and hold first detent of trigger and you can see the L will flash on the TGB screen. It's now lazing. Please use your search and tell me what it locks onto. Stand by. Okay, picked it up and it's the second tank from the far end. Uh, yes, that's right. It is the second tank from the far end. I'm going to stop lazing now and you can do that and then it becomes your TGP target and you can run in and employ weapons nothing else I can think of adding to that it works on moving targets however at the moment it is a little bit buggy November 2019 and slight the hole it will probably be sorted out soon so it works fine All right, uh, I hope to see you later